3, lecture number 3. Uh, pharmaceutical industry, a new uh, drug not that does not simply mimic the structure and action of previously available drugs requires the discovery of new drug target, uh, the pathophysiological process or substrate of a disease. Such discoveries are usually made in public sector institutions, universities and research institutes and the multiple that have beneficial effects on such targets are often discovered in the same laboratories. However, the development of a new drug usually takes place in industrial laboratories because optimization of the class of new drugs requires painstaking and expensive chemical, pharmacological and toxicological research. In search of the recent progress in the application of drugs to disease problems can to be ascribed to the pharmaceutical industry including Big Pharma, the multi-billion dollar corporations that specialize in drug discovery and wellness. Pharmacology and, uh, are uniquely skilled in exploiting discoveries from academic and government laboratories and translating these basic findings into commercially successful therapeutic breakthroughs. Such breakthroughs come at a price, however, and the escalating cost of drugs has become a significant contributor to the inflatory increase in the cost of the healthcare. Development of new drugs is not absolutely expensive and to survive and prosper, big pharma must pay the cost of drug development and the marketing and return a profit to its shareholders. Today, considerable controversy surrounding drug pricing countries will have to do so during the next few decades. Uh, drug pricing is a very important uh, element that the government and the pharmaceutical industries both have to do this. Critics claim that the cost of development and marketing are costly inflated by the marketing activities which may consume as much as 25% or more of a company big pharma uh, have historically exceeded all their industries by a significant factor. Finally, pricing uh, and choose many drugs have dramatically very dramatically from country to country and even within the countries where large organizations can negotiate favorable prices as small ones can small some countries have already addressed this inequities and it seems likely that all countries will have to do so during the next few decades general principles of pharmacology in the most uh, general sense a drug may be defined as any substance that brings about a change in biological function through its chemical actions. In most cases, the drug molecule interacts as an agonist activator and an antagonist inhibitor with a specific called a receptor. The nature of receptors is discussed more fully in chapter 2. In a very small number of cases, drugs known as chemical antagonists may interact directly with other drugs. Whereas a few drugs as osmotic agents interact almost exclusively with water molecules, drugs may be synthesized within the body uh, or may be chemical if not synthesized in the body and generated from the group do not really change gender. Thank you very much. Until next time, I will with you lecture number four on the pharmacology from the Katzen. Take care. Allah Hafiz.